Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Apple series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week we're looking at adding dates to reminders. Now all good task managers allow you to add dates to the tasks that you put in there and reminders of course allows you to do that. But there are a number of other things that you can do with dates and reminders such as recurring dates and multiple selecting and adding dates to a multiple selection of tasks. And so that's what I want to show you this week. Now before we go any further, if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Apple's applications for your productivity system, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go into reminders now and let's start looking at dates. Okay, so let's get started by creating a simple, a simple task. So um, let's start off where we clean out the car. Uh, and I want to do that tomorrow because tomorrow is a Saturday. Okay, so as I type in tomorrow, what you're going to see is it is the, the word tomorrow changes color. It changes color to blue. What that means is reminders has detected a date. Now, if you go down to the bottom of the screen on your iPad, also this would work on the iPhone as well, you'll see suggested date tomorrow. If you tap on that, it's going to change the task and it's going to create that date for you. So that's great. So that was an easy one though. That's just adding a simple date. You can do the same for today, by the way. So uh, clean out the office today. Again, you'll see that it's changed color to blue. So we're going to add that to today and boom, it's set up for today. Hit return. Now, what happens if I want to do something in three months? So let's say, um, <laughs> what am I going to do in three months? Okay. Uh, renew car tax uh, in three months. Again, what you'll see is it changes color to blue. So I don't actually have to think about the date. All I need to do now is tap on one. So I'm going to tap on that and it's going to give me the tax date of the 1st of February, which actually isn't quite right um, because when I'm recording this, it is the 19th of November, but it's fair enough. I mean, it's close enough for me. There's obviously something slightly wrong with that. I think what you're probably going to need to do is be more precise. So let's just try another one. Uh, renew uh, wife's. My wife doesn't have a car, but um, let's just uh, renew wife's uh, car tax on... Now I'm going to put a specific date. So on the 17th of February. Now, all I've done, if you notice there, is I've just typed F-E-B-R. I probably could have done that with F-E-B. I can. Again, if I tap down at the bottom, it's going to give me the 17th. So this is adding dates as I'm going through. So this is a really quick way of doing it. Now, what about recurring dates? So let's just say uh, clean out my action this day folder. Now, what's happened here is I've got this day, but I'm going to change it. I'm going to type in every day. Now, what's happened here is I've got, if you look down at the bottom, I've now got two suggested dates. I've got today because of this. I've typed out this day, uh, but I want to do this every day. So I'm just going to tap in tomorrow and it'll say daily. Now, I could go back down here and say uh, pay credit card. Um... And I'm going to do this uh, 15th monthly. Now, what you'll notice is this isn't going to come up very easy. So sometimes you have to play with it. 15 monthly might be it. No. <laughs> so uh, every month. And now that's going to give me, again, if you look down at the bottom, the date recognition isn't very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this a slightly different way. So pay credit card uh, on 15th. See, it's not going to work on there either. So pay credit card 15th December. Yeah, I've gone into Korean. Didn't want to do that. Uh, 15th of December. 
Now that's giving me the date 15. So I'm just going to remove that 15. Don't need that there. I'm going to click that suggested date. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the information and I'm going to go into my repeat and I'm going to go down to monthly and then click done. Now that is now going to come up on the 15th of every month. Now you may have to play around with the dates to find out how to set those recurring. Every day, every week, of course, works. Every month is going to work. But if you're thinking about setting this up for the 15th of the month and it's not the 15th, then it's not going to work very well there. Okay, so that's how to add regular dates and how to add recurring dates. Now, one other thing, one of the bigger problems that you might have is you may need to reschedule your tasks. Now, you could find that you've got a lot of tasks that are overdue. Let's be honest, we don't are not always vigilant in terms of clearing out our inbox or clearing out our today schedule. So how do you actually change the date on all of these? Well, let's go into my today folder because these are all set up for today. And you can see weekly on Monday is another one, uh, weekly on Thursday, weekly on Thursday. So you've got down here, as you can see that I've got set up for weekly ones here. Now, what I'm going to do is to, to select multiple tasks. Now, on your Mac, if you're using Reminders on a Mac, you need to go into, you need to do shift and then click on the task or command click on the task and select multiple entries like that. Then you need to go into file or edit and then change the date. On iOS, it's much easier. Go to the three dots up at the top here, click on that and select reminders. So I can now go down the list and I can select all these and you'll see that I have the calendar down at the bottom. If I tap that, I can now set that for tomorrow and I can apply. And now all my tasks have been rescheduled. I'll go back into here for tomorrow. They are all set up for tomorrow now. So there's a way of doing multiple selection. Now, by the way, when I do that, uh, let's go back into this inbox. Let's do it this way. We're going to multiple select these. So I'm going to select reminders. So let's just say that I've done brainstorming on a project or something, I can now click on that and I can send these to any project that I want by clicking on the file folder at the bottom. So it's not just for dates, you can do this for all sorts of things. So there you go. I wanted just to cover that in reminders. This is not necessarily new to iOS 15. It's probably been around for a while. But if you really want to use Apple's reminders as your main to-do list manager, these are kind of some of the basic things that really any kind of task manager needs to be able to do. And you can do it pretty fine in reminders. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you for watching this video. Now, I'm very excited to tell you that the 2022 edition of my Create Your Own Apple Productivity System course is now available. This year, we're utilizing the brand new features in reminders and and notes. We're going to be looking at how you can use the tags to create an even better productivity system. We're also looking at how iCloud comes into the picture and your calendar. This is a complete productivity and time management setup that if you're in the Apple ecosystem, I can guarantee is going to make your life so much easier. No more overwhelm, no more stress, no more forgetting events or tasks. It's all going to be there in your own system that I show you how to build. It also includes the Time Sector System and my brand new Notes Organization System, Capra. Okay, I hope you get time to join this course. And don't forget, if you're already enrolled in this course, my promise to you is every year it's a free update. I hope you enjoy the course and it'd be lovely to see you in there.